Let's digitize a simple design. Let's digitize a football. Let's go to a new design, new screen, and let's import our football artwork. Here is our football. First thing you do when you digitize a new design is think about the size. Uh, I want to do this football in a two inch size. The next thing you want to think about is uh, the order in, in which you do the colors or the layers. Uh, this design will be uh, brown first, uh, black detail second, white strings third. Uh, the third thing you want to think about is the stitch patterns that you're going to use. And uh, I'm going to do the brown in a fill. I'm going to do the black detail in running stitches and I'm going to do the strings in straight columns and curved columns. Digitizing mouse on. We'll put in loose underlay using the running stitch white button. A simple loose zigzag manually put in. Click, 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 click. Uh, next thing we'll do is turn the digitizing mouse off. Uh, we'll select in the tree view the whole design and we'll go down to transform the size and we'll put in a size approximately uh, what we want the final size to be. I'll put uh, a little over an inch and a half and that's good enough. Uh, there's the whole design using the zoom to fit window. And uh, we'll turn the digitizing mouse back on to digitize again. And next we're going to do the brown fill. Like the 12 o'clock position, we'll start up here. White, green, white. And that's 131 one, or left, right, left. Uh, now we will go around the clock. And overthrowing slightly, this is a compensation for the push and pull. Let me turn the control points on, make it a little easier for you, for you to see what buttons I'm, I'm selecting. So there's the white button, white button, and white button, and white button, and white button. Okay, we'll go, go, on, go around and round and round. Being careful not to pass our starting point. We went all the way around and we'll hit the middle button which is the blue button and the middle button again uh, and that's where we want to end and come out. Uh, the next thing we'll do is uh, put in three white buttons one, one, one and that is our lockdown. Keeps the thread from unraveling. Next thing we'll do is select a new color and Again, our lock stitch, one, 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 three little short stitches. Now we'll be putting in, if you can see, the detail. Now we can turn the stitches off to make it easier to see the detail. The colors that, that uh, are being displayed uh, will not be the final colors. And actually, I want just bright colors so I can see what I'm doing quite easily. We can refine the colors at the end. And here we'll go around the football, right on the money. And uh, the red that represents the fill, just keep in mind that that is intentionally overthrown. It will pull in as it sews. The detail we're putting right on the money. And we're going around twice. And this is known as a two ply running stitch. If you want a heavier stitch, go around again. There is also automatic stitching like a bean stitch or a three ply stitch, is another term. Uh, that stitch will allow you, that stitch will put down three stitches at one time on top of each other. It gives you a 
a lace-like look like you'd see on a shoe or a pant leg of a jean. But I like the two-ply because it's a smoother looking outline. Okay, three little stitches. Stitch, stitch, stitch. That's another lockdown. Color change for the lace. Let's zoom up a little bit. Okay, here's our lace. And here's our column. White, blue, blue, blue. Let me turn the stitches on for this. And we can go white, blue, blue, blue. 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 Now also, these seams could have been done automatically by doing one seam and copying and pasting. So you do have those tools as well. And white, blue, blue, blue to the middle. Running stitch, running stitch. White, blue, blue, blue. A curve would be white, blue, green, green, blue, blue. Okay. White, blue, blue, blue. White, 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 blue, blue, blue. White, blue, blue, blue. White to travel with. White, blue, blue, blue. White to travel. White to travel. White starts the automatic pattern. Blue, blue, blue. White to travel. White starts the column, automatic column. White, blue, blue, blue. White to travel, white to travel. Here again, if I want to do this in a curve, white to start it. Blue, green, green in the middle of the arc. Blue, blue. Lock it down. White, white, white. Okay. So there we have completed... Uh, the football. So let's see what we have. Uh, let's turn the artwork off. Let's turn the control points off. Uh, let's uh, let's set the final size, design, uh, appearance. Uh, uh, let's turn the digitizing mouse off first. Design. And appearance. Sorry, design, transform, size, and let's set a size. So the final size, let's just say the final size is an inch and a half.